Hello everybody, Andrea here. Here is a sneak peek inside the brand new 2023 case study practice dental hygiene package that I do offer through my company, Dental L Tutoring. So case studies take a while to make, like this was weeks in the making because you have to come up with questions, you have to cross reference your like variety of resources, answers, and then rationales. So you guys are gonna love this. It's a 108 slide package. So this is for the dental hygiene student preparing for the board exam. You need to practice critical thinking and case studies is the way to do that. So I'm just going to do a really quick run through just so you guys can see there's questions, there's answers, there's rationales. Let me go over a few with you. Let's start just randomly. Let's do slide 24. So Mark, a patient with disabilities, requires additional accommodations during dental appointments. How can you act as a client advocate for Mark? So A, do you collaborate with Mark and his caregiver to identify specific accommodations needed for his comfort and safety? Or B, do you proceed with the appointment as usual, assuming Mark can adapt to the standard procedures? C, do you um, disregard Mark's accommodations, considering them unnecessary for dental care? Or D, do you refer Mark to a different dental clinic specialized in treating patients with disabilities. So remember, when you're taking the board exam, two answers are going to sound correct, but one of them, you have to pick one as being the most correct because of course you can't pick two answers. So feel free to pause the video now if you need to think about this question a little bit. I'm just gonna go through and discuss the answer with you. This is a tricky one, like this is a thinker. So A is the best answer and let me explain this a little bit. So I'm going to read the question again. Mark, a patient with disabilities, requires additional accommodations during dental appointments. How can you act as a client advocate for Mark? So the best answer is, you want to collaborate with Mark and his caregiver to identify specific accommodations needed for his comfort and safety. So A is the best because this is you acting as a client advocate. You understand that Mark has special needs and working together with him and his caregiver is the best way to go about things because Although it doesn't say what type of disability he has, it doesn't say what his, his special needs are. But as an example, let's say Mark was in a wheelchair. Just because he's in a wheelchair doesn't mean he's going to have the same needs as your next patient who might also be in a wheelchair. Everybody's needs are different. Everybody's accommodations may be a bit different. One thing that works for Mark might not work for the next patient or the next patient, it doesn't work for them, but it really helps Mark. So this is why you need to work with Mark and his caregiver. His caregiver knows Mark the best, but Mark of course knows himself the best too. So this is why. So by collaborating with Mark, so it says it right here, and his caregiver. The dental hygienist ensures that his comfort and safety are prioritized. So isn't that the main thing when you're working as your client's advocate? You do whatever they can, or sorry, you do whatever you can to make their care as best as possible for them. So you wouldn't refer Mark to a different dental clinic because you can treat him just fine. You of course, I'm sure none of you picked C, but you of course, wouldn't just disregard everything um, and and you would not do B either because you're not assuming just standard procedures because it says right here he needs additional accommodations. So I hope this helps you guys. This is part of again the 2023 case studies practice dental hygiene package for dental hygiene students. I literally just finished this yesterday, um, June the 1st. So depending on when you're watching this video, this is brand new. Nobody has it yet. Not even my VIP members because this is something separate. So I will leave the link for you guys down below to purchase this. I highly recommend it. It will really boost your confidence in taking the board exam. And it's good for you to practice these case study type questions because the more practice you have with case studies and critical thinkings, the more prepared you're going to be for the, the uh, board exam. So thank you guys for watching. Let me know of any questions. I am very happy to help and I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>